Oh, he <laughs> spooked me with his little tongue. Anyway. Hello everyone, happy Halloween. Welcome to my channel. My name's Maddie and this is one of my ball pythons. This is Wilson. He's a two-year-old normal ball python and he's an absolute sweetheart. Today we're going to be talking about how to keep your pets safe on Halloween. I've worked at both an animal rescue for several years and I also worked at a veterinary hospital. So I know firsthand that animals get injured a lot around the holidays and there's several things that you can do to prevent your animal from getting injured or getting lost. First and foremost, we're going to talk about Halloween candy. So obviously Halloween candy should not be given to any of your animals. Any trick-or-treating candy that you get or that you're handing out should be kept away from your pets at all times. Not only can the chocolate harm your dogs and cats, but also an ingredient called xylitol, which is a sweetener in candy, can also harm them. When kids are out trick-or-treating, you want to make sure that you keep your dog locked up in a room away from the front door. I know it's tempting to dress your dog up in a costume and show them off to the trick-or-treaters, but there's also the possibility that your dog would get spooked by someone's costume or a loud noise or even just get excited and run out the door and get lost. Make sure that your dog, any time of the year, but especially on holidays, is wearing their ID tag with a up-to-date form of identification that people can reach you at if your dog happens to get out and get lost. Make sure that you have a phone number and some people like putting their address on their dog's tag. I always put two phone numbers on my dog's tag just to make sure that they get home to me safely. Although it's never happened to me, you never know what could happen. You also wanna be careful with costumes on your dogs, cats, and other animals to make sure that they're not constricting them. Make sure that you can fit three fingers under the collar of your dog or anything that's around their body just to make sure it's loose enough and not suffocating your animal. If you guys carved pumpkin, and have pumpkins around, make sure you keep them away from your dogs. While pumpkin is a really good supplement for dogs for dietary needs, it's bad in large quantities as is any kind of food. And also if you have jack-o'-lanterns that you carved and you have fire inside your pumpkin, that can obviously burn your dog if they get to the pumpkin and knock the pumpkin onto the ground and start a fire or catch their fur on fire. So make sure you keep your dog away from your jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins in general to keep them safe. While I don't condone keeping animals outside, if you do have outdoor cats or dogs, make sure you bring them inside to make sure that they're not going after children or people are not going after your dog. Also, especially black cats on Halloween, you have to be very careful because there are some really twisted people that will do some bad things to your animals. So make sure that you bring them in for the holiday or even into a garage to make sure that they're safe and are away from harm. You might also see in some animal shelters or pet stores that they don't sell newts, salamanders, or black cats around the holidays. This is for the safety of the animal and it is in their best interest to not be adopted or purchased until after the holiday. Um, there's actually a shelter around my house that doesn't allow black cat adoptions at all in October just to try to keep the twisted people away from adopting black cats. And yes, some people will adopt black cats literally just for Halloween parties and then return them to the shelter after their Halloween party is done. My question now is what are you guys dressing as for Halloween? Did you guys dress your dogs or cats or any other animals up for Halloween? I'm not really doing anything for Halloween. Uh, this is disgusting as you can see. My friend Jordan did my makeup. This is my friend Jordan. She's fantastic with special effects makeup. Jordan is starting a YouTube channel soon so if you guys are interested in seeing more creepy stuff like this or any of her ghost hunting things, you guys can check out the link to her channel in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys have any questions about Halloween or my pets in general, you guys can leave it in the comments. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I post videos every single week. If you guys don't want to see a close-up of this, you can click away from the video now because I am going to show it. Now you guys can see how disgusting my throat is. This took six hours for Jordan to do and it's disgusting and it looks really 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 gross and realistic. I actually am really proud of this because I tried to do it as like anatomically correct as I could. There is the trachea right there. It's covered in blood. Um, the muscles are anatomically correct. Well, as correct as I can get them. And there is fatty tissue lining it. I know all this wrinkly skin isn't the best, but I don't care. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fun and safe Halloween, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!